Ricky! Are you stupid or something? Oh man, I swear you can't fix stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, the following video is for mature audiences only. There'll be some cursing. So viewer discretion is advised. What's going on everyone? It's me, Mikey fucking Pipes. Wednesday, May 31st, 2023. Wow, tomorrow is June. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Ah, oh, Frankie. You know what, you could have made a great, great, team member and technician you really could have and look see I made that light I sure did yesterday I get a package I get a package from the New York State Department of Labor it's a big thick envelope eh, I'm not gonna exaggerate about that thick All right, about that thick eh, a little thicker than your sister's sea hair right anyway it turns out Frankie, also known as Frankie Two Times, in case you don't know who Frankie was, you should probably check out some of the videos from early 2023. Frankie lasted for about, I don't know, maybe about two months or so. And we called him Frankie Two Times because he was hired twice after getting fired once. And then, I guess technically, I didn't even fire him. I didn't even tell him to his face that, yo, don't bother coming back. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't send him a text message. I just sent him a, a picture of this. That's Frankie. Right? That's Frankie. And there's my message to him. See that? Oh, don't worry. There's more. For those of you who may or may not know, all right, I really believe in having, uh, you know, learning as much as you can. Because the more you know, uh, the more valuable you are. Right? You're more of a a valued asset. And don't get me wrong, everyone in my team, you know, they're valued assets. They're part of a family, a small family. So I really believe in training. You know, if anyone asks me, hey, you know what, I wanna to go to this class, or hey, I wanna do this, by all means, do it. And not only am I gonna pay for you to do it, but also pay for you, you know, for your time if you're taking time off from work to go to this class, right? So A.O. Smith, which is a, um, you know, one of our our vendors, and also we have a very good real business business relationship with, I uh, was having a class in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, on the outskirts of Nashville, Tennessee, the suburbs, right? And they were giving a um, a factory training class, factory training class, right? Uh, for beginners, you know, basically, be, you know, new technicians, you know, to become more familiar with uh, water heaters, you know, tanked and tankless. Um, I don't know about so much about commercial, but listen, I had to uh, pay for some flights, get a rental car, pay for hotel rooms, right? And I sent Peter and Frankie there, so that way they could become more valuable. And the more you know, the more you earn facts, right? Well, after day two, I get a phone call from the director of training at A.O. Smith. It was kind of like getting a call as a, as a parent from your kid's principal. Forget about getting a call from the kid's fucking teacher. I got a call from the fucking principal. Frankie, the principal's office called me! And you embarrassed me! But the principal, and kind of like the, the superintendent of schools was on the line, it was a conference call. It was more like a, uh, it was almost like a gangbang, but they wanted to stress the importance that, hey, you know, this is what you got working for you. Like, we need to rethink our relationship. And I'm like, Whew. yep. 
So, I sent Frankie that picture, right? And then I made some phone calls. And it turns out that the rental car that I rented for Frankie, because he's over 25, obviously. He's a mature adult. I'm not saying Peter's not a mature adult, but, you know, he's over 25 and considered less of a risk to car rental companies. Well, it turns out that the great uh, folks at Hertz, right, uh, wouldn't let him um, take command of the car that I rented for him because he was intoxicated. He was intoxicated on the plane um, from LaGuardia, New York, to Nashville, Tennessee. He was drinking at the, um, you know, the terminal at the, at, near the gate, right at the airport, where he continued to drink on the plane, and I heard he became a little rowdy. Yep. And um, they landed, and, um, oh, what can I say? Peter had to rent the car, and of course, it cost in excess of 300 bucks because you're renting a car to someone who's under 25. Anyway, back to the story. I get this phone call. Sorry. I get this package from the New York State Department of Labor. And it turns out that Frankie, right? And by the way, when I may, I didn't even see him leave, but there's his credit card, right? There's his brand new iPhone. Here's his brand new iPad, right? The next morning when he flew back, that was on my desk. Turns out he was here at 4.30 in the morning, dropped that off, and never saw him again. Anyway, the New York State Department of Labor sends me this giant package that Frankie is appealing the decision where he is not going to be paid unemployment benefit insurance. Get yourself a fucking job, Frankie! You know how many fucking plumbers are out there right now who are dying for work? But I know why, because you don't have any good references. Because I called your previous references, and... Let's put it this way. They laughed. So Frank. in Frankie's defense for wanting to appeal the denial of his unemployment benefit insurance, he said that my employer knew that my actions prevented me from being attentive in class. So basically, Frankie, you're telling me, or you're telling the New York State Department of Labor that I knew that you were drinking the night before and the night before that, right? So on the plane, before you got on the plane, on the plane, that first night, because you didn't show up to, you were showed up to class late the first day by half an hour, and then show up to, to late to class the second day by almost an hour, and you passed out in school because you were fucking drunk. The fuck is wrong with you, Frankie? I'm just fed up. I'm fed up. I'm really, really, really frustrated right now and angry. I'm angry. You know what? They say no deed goes unpunished. And this is my punishment. I had every fucking right to cancel his return trip back from Nashville to LaGuardia. And I really should have. I really should have. And guess what, Frankie? Now you ruined it for everyone else. Because the next time something like this happens, I'm going to say, you know what? Fuck you. You're on your own. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank God it's hump day. <sighs> What's in your wallet? <sighs> and in case you're wondering, here's the other photo. There's Frankie, right? Slashed over, basically snoring in class. That was, that was one of the words used. And there's Peter. Look, he's got his head up. He's paying attention. Looks like he's got a, a, a beverage. A, a caffeinated beverage there, carbonated beverage. You got some some water there, not aquapana, but there's Frankie. It looks like Frankie's water is on the floor. Actually, what is that? Smart water. Frankie's water is on the floor because maybe he's so close to the ground. Yeah, that's what it is. He's so close to the ground, it's easier for him to put the water bottle on the fucking floor. Huh. Frankie. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. Frankie, get your shit together. You know what? If you want to be a bum collecting unemployment insurance, well, you're not going to get it on my dime. I can tell you that. Get yourself a fucking job, right? There are plenty of people out there who are hiring. And show remorse, right? And maybe someone will give you a second or third or fourth or fifth try. Facts. I'm sure someone will give you an opportunity to prove yourself, but... Frankie, come on, you're a grown-ass man. Grow the fuck up.